The Rottweiler was originally dogs bred to drive cattle to the market. Later, they were used to pull cars for butchers. They were among the earliest police dogs and served with honor in the military. Although these are purebred dogs, you may still find them in care of shelters or rescue groups, so remember to adopt. No whispered parents should be beware as these dogs are very strong and intense. They need experienced care and training. Consistent, energetic pet parents will find a loving, faithful, and intelligent friend for life in a body. Males of this breed are typically 24 to 27 inches tall at the shoulder and weigh between 95 to 130 pounds, while females are typically 22 to 25 inches tall and weigh between 85 to 115 pounds. The ideal Rottweiler is calm, confident, and courageous, never shy. He has a self-assured aloofness and doesn't make friends with people immediately. Instead, he takes a wait-and-see attitude with new people or situations. With his family, his affectionate, often following them around the house. This is not a highly excitable dog. He has an inherent desire to protect his family and property, but should never be aggressive towards people without cause. The Rottweiler is smart and adaptable with a strong work ethic. You'll see some differences between the sexes of this breed. Males are quiet but watchful, constantly assessing their surroundings for threats, while females are somewhat easier to control and may be more affectionate. Both are highly trainable but can be stubborn. Rottweilers require firm, consistent but not harsh discipline. A sharp word is often a sufficient reprimand, but only if you clearly establish your leadership. If not, he may try to bully or even bluff you. This is not a dog for people who lack assertiveness or don't have time to devote to training and supervision. Earning a Rottweiler's respect involves setting boundaries and teaching consequences for inappropriate behavior, both of which take time and patience. Temperament doesn't just happen in a vacuum. It's affected by a number of factors including heredity, training, and socialization. Puppies with nice temperaments are curious and playful, willing to approach people and be helped by them. Choose the middle of the road puppy, not the one who's beating up his litter mates or the one who's hiding in a corner. Always meet at least one of the parents, usually the mother is the one who's available, to ensure that they have nice temperaments that you're comfortable with. Meeting siblings or other relatives of the parent is also helpful for evaluating what a puppy will be like when he grows up. Before we continue, please consider hitting that like and subscribe button as it would mean a lot. Thanks. Like every other dog, Roddy's need early socialization, exposure to many different people, sights, sounds, and experiences when they're young. Socialization helps ensure that your Rottweiler puppy grows up to be a well-rounded dog. Rottweilers are generally healthy, but like all breeds are prone to certain health conditions. While not all Roddy's will get any or all of these diseases, it's important to be aware of them if you're considering this breed. If you're buying a puppy, find a good breeder who will show you health clearances for both your puppy's parents. Health clearances prove that a dog's been tested for and cleared of a particular condition. It's very important for Rottweilers to live in a home with their people. If they are left alone in a backyard all the time, they can become bored, destructive, and even aggressive. Although they're large, Rottweilers are inactive indoors. A Rottweiler is a homebody, but it requires a fenced yard not only to protect him from traffic, but also because he can be aggressive towards other dogs and strangers who come onto his property. An underground electric fence can't keep your Roddy in the yard if he really wants to get out. More importantly, it doesn't prevent people or other animals from coming onto your property. Put up a sign advising strangers and non-family members not to come onto your property without your escort. The Rottweiler's energy level ranges from couch potato to whirlwind. Be sure to tell the breeder what kind of energy level suits you so she can help you choose the best puppy for your lifestyle. Moderately active Rottweilers will appreciate a couple of 10 to 20 minute walks each day and they also enjoy playing with balls and going hunting. More energetic Roddies may need longer exercise times and more structured activities. Their athleticism, intelligence, and trainability make them well suited to agility and obedience competitions, as well as tracking, therapy work, and their traditional job, pulling a cart or wagon. When training a Rottweiler, keep in mind that he thrives on mental stimulation. He likes to learn new things and is eager to please you. He might be willful at times with a show me why I should do this attitude, but fair, consistent, and firm, your Rottweiler will reward you with his quick ability to learn. Your Rottweiler shouldn't be difficult to house train given a consistent schedule, no opportunities to have accidents in a house, and positive reinforcement when he potties outdoors. 
How much your dog doggy is depends on its size, age, build, metabolism, and activity level. Dogs are individuals, and just like people, they don't all need the same amount of food. It almost goes without saying that a highly active dog will need more than a couch potato dog. The quality of the dog food you buy also makes a huge difference. The better the dog food, the further it will go towards nourishing your dog, and the less of it you'll need to shake into your dog's bowl. The recommended daily amount for this particular breed is 4 to 10 cups of high quality dry food a day. Keep your Rottweiler in good shape by measuring his food and feeding it twice a day rather than leaving the food all, all the time. Rottweilers have a short double coat that's straight and coarse. The outer coat is medium in length, shorter on the head, ears and legs, and the other coat is found mainly on the neck and thighs. The Rottweiler is always black with markings that are rust or mahogany in color. The markings appear over the eyes, on the cheek, on each side of the muzzle, on the chest and legs, and beneath the tail. There are also tan lines that resemble pencil marks and the toes. Brush your body weekly with a firm bristle brush to remove dead hair and distribute the skin oils. It'll shed twice a year and you'll probably want to brush more frequently during that time to keep the loose hair under control. Bathe him as needed. If you bathe him outdoors, it should be warm enough that you're comfortable without wearing long sleeves or a coat. If you aren't, it's too cold to be giving your Roddy a bath out there. Brush your Roddy's teeth at least 2-3 to three times a week to remove tartar buildup and the bacteria that lurk inside it. Daily brushing is even better if you want to prevent gum disease and bad breath. Begin accustoming your Rottweiler to being brushed and examined when he's a puppy and handle his paws frequently, as dogs are usually touchy about their feet, and also look inside his mouth and ears. Make grooming a positive experience filled with praise and rewards, and you'll lay the groundwork for easy veterinary exams and other handlings when he's an adult. Rottweilers typically like children, especially if they're raised with them. When around children, especially young ones, they should be supervised because they are they should be supervised because they are so big and so strong. Because of their cattle driving heritage, they have a tendency to lean and push and can accidentally topple the toddler with a nudge. They're probably best suited to homes with older children who understand how to interact with dogs. It's also important to supervise your Roddy anytime your children has friends over. Roddies can be perturbed by the loud or rough play between kids and may take steps to put a stop to it, not understanding that his children aren't in danger. They may also chase young children who are running. Always teach children how to approach and touch dogs and always supervise any interaction between dogs and young children to prevent any biting or ear or tail pulling on part of either party. Teach your child never to approach any dog while he's eating or sleeping or to try to take the dog's food away. No dog, no matter how friendly, should ever be left unsupervised by the child. When Roddies are raised with other dogs and cats, they generally get along well with them. They may have issues with stranger dogs or adult dogs that are introduced to the home being intolerant of same-sex dogs. With your training and guidance, however, they should accept new animals peacefully. Keep your Roddy on leash in public to prevent aggression towards other dogs. The Roddy is not the best candidate for visiting off-leash dog parks. Alright guys, what do you think about the Rottweiler? Tell me down in the comments.